It is Tuesday, June 9th. Welcome aboard to this edition of Barnstable Today. I'm Kevin Friel, and just a reminder, the meetings we cover are available on demand at the town's website at www.town.barnstable.ma.us. And I'm Andrew Gobiel. Thank you very much for joining us on this edition of Barnstable Today as we continue our tour through the town of Barnstable. As you can see today, we're right off the Village Green in front of Barnstable's Town Hall. Coming up in just a moment, we'll go over the list of meetings taking place here in the town of Barnstable. Again, we'll check that out in just a second. But first, Kevin had an opportunity to head on over to the Barnstable Senior Center earlier this week to talk with the director of the Senior Center and some of the residents on over there to discuss about the open house coming up on Friday. This Friday, you have a pretty big event. Mm -hmm. What's going on? Well, Kevin, the Barnstable Senior Center is always an exciting place to be, but especially this Friday, we are celebrating our annual Open House and Community Awareness Day. And this event is very meaningful for us, for us. every year um, we celebrate an Open House, but this year particularly special because it's the 10th anniversary of this facility, this beautiful center that we have being here. So we're inviting everyone in the community to come and share the celebration with us. And in addition to that, we're giving out some really special awards. I'm going to hold a little bit tight on it until um, Friday, but we are giving out the Boston Post Cane Award, which we present annually to the oldest resident in the town of Barnstable, um, and that's a real honor. The town clerk, Linda Hutchin Ryder, will be here to present that award because she worked very hard to revive the Boston Post Cane um, ceremony here. And then we will be giving out the Spirit of Ruth Rusher Award, and for anyone who knows Ruth Rusher, she was a legend in the town of Barnstable. She was a really spirited um, advocate for everybody in the community, and she worked tirelessly throughout her years. Um, so we created an, uh, an award a couple of years ago just to recognize seniors that really were passionate and, and civically engaged and, and real advocates. Um, so we'll be giving two awards at this year and then we'll also be presenting the um, Legacy Award and we give that out annually to a business or organization that has been a great friend to the Senior Center but also to seniors in the community and we have some really special honorees this year. We're very excited to present the awards on Friday and I hope you'll come back um, to tape the ceremony. And it's not just about the awards. It's about people coming in um, to see the center. And we have so much going on here every day, as you know, um, from your travels over here. And we want just community members to come in and share in everything that we do. And we're having a cookout because we know that when we have food, we always get lots of people. Um, and the friends of the Barnstable Council on Aging are actually generously providing the food this year. We're going to have um, hot dogs and burgers and Four Seas ice cream and potato chips. Um, it will be really fun. And we have... Um, a thing called the X Grill. I don't know if you've ever heard of it, but it's um, they, it's, it's a company um, that they travel around. They go to nonprofits um, and they help do events. And it's it's basically they took an old oil truck and they cut the top off and converted it into a grill. So it's supposed to be a real you know novelty. And they're going to be here, so that should be you know get a lot of attraction as well. Oh, that's real cool, Madeline. Um, one of the things that you guys pride yourself on is saying, "Don't let the name of the senior center fool you." So if someone my age wanted to come in. What what do you guys have to offer someone like me? You know, we have the whole gamut of programs, and the, the thing particularly for younger people is that we open in the evenings. So on Tuesdays and Thursday nights, we have a lot of classes. We have exercise classes, computer classes. Um, you can come in and play the Wii. We have a pool table here. So we have a lot of activities that, you know, for obviously a lot of younger working people, it's hard for them to come in here during the day. So by, by day, we tend to be more of an active senior center. But by night, and um, there's plenty of other things to do in here, and we're always trying to get the boomers to come in. That's one of the things that we hope we'll get a lot of boomers to come in here on Friday. You're not quite there yet, Kevin. Uh, but, you know, we know that it, it's important for them to come in and get, um, you know, just really get invested in the center because we want to still be alive and thriving, um, you know, as they age. And we need to evolve to what programs and activities they like. So we have actually set up a boomers group that's been very well attended. It meets once a month. Um, and we've gotten some great participation and great ideas. We're always looking for new ideas um, for people here. So, Madeline, uh, tell us how we can get more information if we want to find out about these programs. How can we get in touch with you guys? The best thing to do is give us a call. Um, we have a bi-monthly newsletter, The Senior Compass, and it's online. You can actually go online if you want because we've been trying to reduce our mailing costs and we're trying to be more green around here. That's another thing that we've really tried to do. Um, but you, we can add you onto our mailing list and we mail that out. It's, it has everything that's going on here, uh, our whole list of classes. And just pop in. I mean, the best thing is if you're driving by, we're right on Route 28. Very easy to find, so just stop in. Um, it's always a fun time going on in here, but particularly on Friday, I, I forgot to mention, we're having 
Dixie Lounge music. So that's going to add to the overall theme, you know, the cookout, the awards, the music. It's going to be a lot of fun, a lot of entertainment, and, you know, good times. So it's starting at 2, Windsor Fun and Kids? It starts actually at noontime. So okay. noontime, we'll be giving the awards out. Uh, we'll also have a lot of our groups that come in here, our wood carvers, our artists, our crafters, our quilters. Um, people don't realize all the great things that I've done here. So they're going to come in and see some of the crafts that are made here by people that come in and use the center, and I think it will be a really eye-opening experience for them. Great. Kevin, it's probably a good time just for me to mention, and um, we're very excited here to be welcoming our Adult Supported Day program to the Senior Center for the very first time. As you know, it's been located over at the Center for Recreation Building um, for 11 years now. It's, that's been its home. Um, but we are really excited to bring it back so that for the first time we have all our staff and all our programs under one roof at the Barnstable Senior Center. So we've been doing some modifications. Um, as you know, it's been a year since we opened the Garden Level. We actually celebrated the opening at last year's open house and uh, we had to kind of just do some minor minor modification work and put up a few walls and that just so that we can give the program its own space and it's a wonderful program we consider it to be such a valuable asset to our community um, for people that aren't familiar with it it really provides respite to caregivers it provides a safe secure and nurturing environment for seniors that can't really be at home on their own and um, it's affordable uh, the staff are excellent they're extremely dedicated and it's it's they they do a great list of activities every day it's not you know we just have the clients come in and sit here They're, it's a very participative interactive program in the morning they uh, the staff will sit make coffee they'll have some breakfast um, and just discuss current events read the newspapers um, and then they do exercise every day they do some activities be it painting or crafts um, and they do things like music and lots of fun it's a great um, and then they have lunch here every day as well so it's really uh, it's a great program. If people want to know any more information, there may be plenty of people watching the show that have like a, either a parent or a spouse that they might be a little bit concerned about because we don't want seniors to be at home isolated. It's so much better for them to come into an environment where you know they get to socialize with other seniors and they get to you know engage and that's really important to keep them healthy um, and if anybody wants any more information just to give us a call at 862-4750 um, we have scheduled um, a day to come in and learn more what is the program all about and I believe it's in August and um, if anybody's interested in knowing just give a call because they can come in and tour um, the facility and um, get more information about it. That's the uh, Adult Supported Day Program. Yeah. What kind of fees do, does it cost to uh, join? It's a sliding fee scale and for many people they'll actually be covered if they qualify for certain things but it is it, it goes from about twenty five to thirty seven dollars a day um, which is still the program runs from nine a.m. until three p.m. and we can actually provide transportation through our Silver Express um, transportation program. Again, Kevin Friel just down the street with an interview over there at the Barnstable Senior Center. That open house takes place on Friday. Now for a list of the meetings going on here in the town of Barnstable for the remainder of the week. Tonight, the uh, Golf Advisory Committee meets at five thirty in the old Barnstable Fairgrounds Clubhouse. The school committee is going to meet at 7 o'clock this evening in the hearing room of the town hall right behind us. Then on Wednesday, the 10th, Old Kings Highway Committee meets at the Route 149 West Barnstable Community Building starting at 7 o'clock. ZBA hearing is scheduled for 7 Wednesday night in the hearing room. Then on Thursday, June 11th, formal site plan review finishes out the week with a meeting starting at 9 o'clock in the town hall hearing room. And there are no meetings scheduled for Friday. Once again, if you'd like some more information on the these meetings or to check out some of the other events, head on over to our website, town.barnstable.ma.us. For Kevin Friel, I'm Andrew Govio. Thank you very much for joining us on this edition of Barnstable Today.